Hi, welcome to mobilephonetraining.co.uk. Again, we're here to speak to you today about the new LG KF600, which is this wonderful device here. Um, the KF600 is really great, and this tip is more to do with um, using the Java as best as you can. Um, I wanted to show you that um, we've downloaded uh, the Opera, the Opera application. And we wanted to show you how it works. So, to get it to work, what you do is you go into your menu and we've already got Opera installed but what we're going to do, we're going to run through the full installation um, you scroll to my stuff scroll down to games and apps and then press OK um, I've stored mine in applications uh, and what it does is you see Opera Mini there and it says play and it gives you these um, standardized dual controls with two soft keys at the top which work really really well when you're using the, uh, the Opera browser so, what we're going to do is, I'm going to um, close mine off, or in fact I'll show you uh, how to get into MySpace first. It asks you a few security questions and you'll see there it starts saying connecting. Now with the um, LG Venus or the KF600, it uses Edge technology, so it's not as quite as fast as 3G, but it is still very, very quick. And as you can see, for a site like MySpace, um, traditionally what Opera does, and this is Opera version 4.0, which is the latest one at this particular time, um, what it fantastically does is put the whole page onto one screen for you. And if you want to uh, zoom in, you just use the navigation keys as I'm going to scroll across, and there'll be a little faint box on the screen, and then you just tap OK. And there you are, you see it zooming in to where you can sign where you can go to sign in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uninstall this um Java athlete and then go on to Opera's website and start to download it. I'll show you how to do that. So if I go to exit, that comes out, and then I'm gonna to choose to delete it and then press delete and press OK. So as you can see there, I've deleted the Opera Mini browser, it's no longer there. What we're going to do now is go back to the main screen, go into menu, scroll down until we get to browser. I'm going to go to enter address, and the address that you want to enter is on the screen here. It's um, http semicolon forward slash forward slash mini dot opera dot com. So that's mini dot opera dot com. And as you can see, I've already pre pre typed it, so I'm going to hit connect. And the browser will go and connect now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to Opera's page and fantastically what Opera will probably do is it will probably pick up and it will say that your phone model could not be detected. Um, but what it does recommend is that you download two, one or two versions. There's a high memory version and a low memory version. And um, The version that I downloaded earlier on was the high memory and it worked fine. So I'm going to download, um, go on, this is Opera's page here, and I'm going to download the high memory version. And then press OK. And this should go away and connect. And now it's asking me to select a folder where I want to save this. It's going to ask me application or games. I'm going to go into applications. Press OK. It tells me what it wants to download. So you see there it says name Opera Mini version 4.0 Opera software. And it says it's 98 kilobytes. And it tells me what my available memory is on the phone. So I press continue. Then it asks you some security questions. And it says that the application is unsigned um, and untrusted. Do you wish to continue? Press OK. And you see there it's quickly installed, it's starting to compile now, and it's using the Java um, athletes that's available there for its um, use. Now it's saying please wait. It says launch the midlet, and yes I do want to launch the midlet. And it's going to go through the Opera Mini installation as you can see there at the bottom of the screen. And as I said, these navigation controls, which is the generic ones, come up on the screen. And now it starts asking you some security questions about would, do you wish to allow it? to connect to the internet and this is really great because it says that it may cost you money to connect to the internet it's probably worth noting that it's probably worth speaking to your network or your network provider or service provider about getting a data plan installed if you wish to use Opera Mini um, quite often so it's still installing there as you can see and it's quite a quick installation and it's really really good and now it's done it's installed Opera Mini for me and now it's telling me welcome to Opera um, Mini version 0.4 I press accept and there we are Opera Mini is now installed and it takes me to the Opera Mini homepage which has direct RSS feeds, Opera Mini community, MySpace and various other um, social networking links so that is the video from my 
from mobilefunttraining.co.uk from MyKF600 or Venus um, showing you how to install the Opera Mini Browser. Thank you very much and good night.